Everyone loves penguins. People travel from all over the world for a chance to see these tuxedo charmers. One of the most popular destinations is Punta Tambo, Argentina, home to the largest colony of Magellanic penguins in the world. Over 100,000 tourists visit the reserve every year. Wildlife-based tourism generates large revenues for the government but only a small percentage of the money actually goes back to helping the penguins. Since the 1980s, the number of breeding pairs at Punta Tambo has decreased by over 20%. One of the main causes is human interaction. In controlled situations, Magellanic penguins can become accustomed to humans. Yet tourist encounters still increases penguin stress response from an early age. Human infrastructure is destroying nests, making it harder for penguins to travel and causing shifts in their natural cycles. In 2006, a proposed trail was predicted to destroy 197 nests and affect 10,000 more by forcing penguins to cross it. Luckily, that plan was shut down. Pets and introduced species can also upset the ecosystem at Punta Tambo by competing with or eating penguins. As more people travel to Argentina, it becomes harder to control the impacts of expanding tourism. Tourism can be a key way to educate people on conservation and the natural history of Magellanic penguins, but only if it is properly controlled and there is respect for the penguins and the natural environment. Longer studies and strong conservation methods are needed in order to protect these penguins and to learn more about their long-term responses to human interaction. A main goal of many conservation organizations is to use the money generated from tourism to study and protect the penguins people come to see. So many humans love penguins, yet these creatures are not benefiting as much as they could from the tourism they generate. To learn more, visit www.penguinstudies.org.